<clears throat> there we are. All right, good morning, YouTube. Uh, good to have you along here. If you're watching this as a replay, you can fast forward about six minutes until we start the actual program. Kick, uh, kick it off on the radio side. Steve's with me live here on YouTube right now from ATN. So uh, if you have uh, text questions beforehand, before we start our live program, you can sure ask them this way as well. I just got my uh, scope mounted up, Steve. Oh, fantastic. And thank you, Scott, so much for having me on the program. You bet. So the problem I'm having, I did not, uh, the firmware update, I don't have a micro uh, SD slot on any of my computers. <laughs> so I well, honestly, Scott, if um, if if you just bought the scope and it came directly from us, most likely it is already updated. It's okay. easy to check in the system settings in the scope, and if uh, the firmware matches what's on our website, which I highly suspect it does, you don't have to do anything. Honestly, perfect. All I would recommend is do a factory reset just in case, because we do testing uh, before I like, recall testing and other testing to make sure all the functionalities work in the product. Just do a quick factory reset and um, then start playing with the scope. I do encourage you taking a you know, glimpse either at the manual or some of our informative uh, how-to videos on our website that will walk you through some of the basic functionalities and setup processes, yeah. and you'll be good to go. I, did, I, I went through the whole manual before I even uh, did anything with it, so... Works out good. You're one of the few. <laughs> yeah. well, I, I, I want to know all the uh, ins and outs. And, well, you know, a lot of these questions I might ask you again once we start on the actual radio side of things, too. Um, sure. So, uh, Big Daddy Dave, uh, KGFX and Pierre, good to see you hooked up. KOLY, thank you, Karen. And uh, good morning, Waylon. Good to see uh, you guys all on the YouTube side of things again this morning, plus all the rest of the subscribers. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I, uh, I did order a uh, micro SD. Can, uh, so just in case I got one coming in the mail. Uh, I hope you ordered the, at least the class 10 because you need a fast uh, speed for the, uh, yes. for the memory card for it to record uh, high quality videos. Yes. Well, the, they actually, uh, uh, what, the, what was his name? Matt actually sent one with me. Mm -hmm. The actual. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I just uh, ordered the uh, micro SD reader on oh, I see, Amazon I see. here so I can plug it into my computer. But yeah, no coyote tournaments galore up this way, Steve. So hmm. everybody's uh, wanting to try to do some 24-hour hunts and thermal imaging is brand new in North Dakota. South Dakota's had it for quite some time, but North Dakota, I think this is the sec second year that they've allowed us to use thermal imaging. So it's brand new in this state and people are hungry to find out what's what so that's why I'm absolutely and you know a lot more states yeah a lot, a lot of states are actually opening uh the regs up for night vision thermal hunting because of the various problems uh from coyotes and uh, feral hogs that are moving up from the south to the north yeah. and so the dnrs in various states are realizing that it's a problem and uh really the only way to kind of manage that problem you know, uh, is by allowing people to use modern day technology to deal with the problem. How much hunting do you get done? So if you have time to get out and do that, uh, you, are you in Florida? Uh, no, I'm actually in California. You're in California. So okay. I'm an hour. Yeah. I'm an hour behind you, but I do, you know, a hunt, uh, at least once a year, I try to get out to Louisiana. Uh, we have uh, a lot of pro staff guys all over the country, but I, I love Louisiana it's a very target rich environment for feral hogs yeah. and we go out several nights in a row uh, last time i went we did about 16 hogs in one night and another like 14 hogs another night so it's a lot of fun yeah. especially if you have the equipment the gear um and you have great people that know what they're doing taking you out i'm excited for it i you know we've had a very open winter up here in the north dakota side we have Zero snow, and I think it's going to be 50-some degrees today, which is uh, not normal for this area. So, uh, wow, that is pretty warm for this time of year. Yeah, so the coyotes uh, blend in really, really well, so I'm hoping to get some night vision hunting in. Go down to my prairie dog town and and uh, call them in on the prairie dog town. It seems like a pretty rich environment for the coyotes down that way. All right. Are you planning to use also like the e collar or hand collar to call them in, or I, I usually start do, you, the season, do you know where they are? Yeah, I usually start the season by hand calling them, and uh, mm -hmm. 
the later on in the season, I switch over to my e-collar. Um, mm-hmm. Just kind of my do you, thing. Do you have a preference? Or I know there's a few good ones out in the marketplace. So Ecotech, uh, Fox yeah. Pro, Lucky I got, Duck. I have the Fox Pro. I have their latest okay. one that they have right now. But, uh, the Fusion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good collar. Yeah. yeah. No, it works out pretty good. There was a, one call shy a coyote that I was having an issue eating a lot of my calves a couple years ago. Mm. We uh, couldn't call them in with the hand calls, but I could get them in with the e-caller, so it, it did help out. But uh, so I'm going to have you stand by. We're about 50 seconds here, Steve, so I'm going to turn you down. I'm going to let the stations do a little countdown here. And uh, Big Daddy Dave, did you see I did see that, yeah. <laughs> the oldest hunter, 104 years old. God, they're dear. I did see that. All right. Stations, 30 seconds on mark. 30 seconds. <clears throat> 15 second stations, 15 seconds on mark. Uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Saturday edition of Dakota Prairie Outdoors Radio. Good to have you along. I'm Scott Bachmeyer, and I'm going to be your host here for the next hour, getting the privilege to talk outdoors. I'm sure many of you know the uh, NFR started here a couple days ago. And the Dakota Territory, I got to say, we're, we got to be pretty well represented down there. Uh, Bridger Anderson, congratulations on your uh, win yes, last night here. Uh, and also... Governor Christy Nome, South Dakota Governor Christy Nome, proudly carrying the American flag last night here. It's nice to see a governor who supports the agricultural industry. Speaking of which, today's show being brought to you by Action Motorsports. Remember, the Polaris Egg Advantage program is going on until the end of this month. If you are in the egg agricultural industry, uh, you immediately get 10% off when you go in and buy a brand new Polaris Ranger a general, or even one of their sportsman four-wheelers. Stop in today and ask about the Polaris Egg Advantage from Action Motorsports on the Strip in Mandan. And um, also, we'll see what Britt sends me this morning for more details and what kind of deals he wants to do today and today only. Uh, You know, you can always go in, he'll buy you breakfast just by stopping in and test driving any of the ATVs today. My guest today is uh, Steve Lemonov. He is Director of Marketing for the uh, American Technology Network. Most of us recognize that by just ATN, the company who is blazing the trail in the thermal imaging scope, uh, plus a whole lot of other technology here. If you have any questions on today's program, you have questions for Steve, I have a toll-free line. You can call in 888-932-5682. That's 888-9-DAKOTA if you want to remember it that way. Good morning, Steve. How you been, sir? Good morning, Scott. Thank you so much for having me on the program. Yeah, we, I tell you what, I'm excited because, you know, uh, I already have questions coming in for you here, so I'll, I'll get to the first one. First off, before I get to Greg's question that's about being texted to me, if you want to text questions, comments, concerns, besides calling them in, you can do that at 701-425-6651. I'm live streaming on my YouTube channel right now, Dakota Prairie Outdoors Radio. You can message me through that, or you can find me on any of the social media platforms as well here besides calling in at 888-932-5682. Steve, as a marketing director, tell us a little about the history of ATN and uh, what you guys do. Fantastic, Scott. Yes, thank you. Well, we've been around since 1995. Uh, we're headquartered in California, but now we have a second location in Florida. It helps us, uh, you know, service our customers better, having two locations on each coast, you know, delivery and customer service. We've expanded rapidly in the last several years due to the fact that we've introduced a lot of uh, innovating new technologies that are affordable to the average hunter. Uh, we have a great line of night vision digital scopes, and as you purchased recently, a great line of thermal weapon scopes, uh, which are you know very ri- ri- uh, feature rich and offer a lot of capabilities uh, to the modern hun- hunter. You know, I'm excited to talk about this because it's been a while since I had anybody discussing digital night vision versus thermal imaging. Tell, tell us the difference between it. You sell both of these products, but what's the difference between these two? Well, the difference is uh, 
technology uh, that's kind of at the core level you know night vision is um is great because uh you can tell a recognizable there's recognizable detail you could tell a dog from a coyote you know a man from a woman you know in terms of the features thermal is great for detection you know it offers great range uh targets you know pop up uh out like christmas trees at night you know you, you could uh, there's a big misconception that you can only use thermal at night you could actually use thermal at, during the daytime as well thermals a 24 hour type of technology which you can use you know day or night and you get a great detection range and you know they're great you know for uh piercing through fog white foliage you know game or you know predators like coyotes or feral hogs it's difficult for them to hide in the brush uh, you, you can see them really well with thermal with night vision there is the limiting factor in terms of range depending on the type of um you know product you're using and the type of infrared illuminator you're using because digital night vision is dependent on infrared light which is invisible to the human eye or uh, animals but uh, advanced sensors can pick up that um, invisible light and produce an image that looks like you're looking at something during the daytime pretty, yeah. pretty much nowadays. No, I, I I did have a digital night vision scope. I, well, I should say I still have it, but I took it off mm -hmm. the rifle I had it on and put this thermal on it. And the, the, the reason I did this and I upgraded the thermal is because uh, for me, the digital night vision worked, but it didn't have the uh the range I, I mean within 100 yards you could see things just like you said it just like you're looking at it in the daytime through a scope uh but beyond that you know trying to scan to see if coyotes were coming in at you know seven eight hundred yards where they're on, where they on their way in or did i have to wait until they were in that hundred yards that's why i went with a thermal i think you know for me i've, I've seen both of them and i upgraded mm -hmm. and, and, and that now the question comes uh, uh greg out of Hedinger says what model thermal did i get and uh, I got the Thor 4, uh, 640, 2.5 by 25. And Which is actually our top-of-the-line model and very popular model. You got the 50-millimeter lens, which gives you a good range of uh, magnification. The 2.5 to 25X gives you a good field of view and the base optical magnification. And you could zoom for those longer shots and still retain a good amount of resolution to be able to, you know, see the target well and take the ethical, you know, kill. Um, you know, when you're magnifying with thermal, you know, the resolution decreases because, you know, it's, it's a digital product. And it's like, if you're thinking of a, like a digital camera of sorts or a camera in your phone, the more you magnify, the more the image gets kind of a, uh, not de uh, degraded, but, you know, a little more pixelated because you're, you're digitally enhancing that, um, that image. So the best resolution you, you're going to be seeing is on the optical and the base zoom. And as you're zooming in a little bit further out and out, uh, the image uh, will be, uh, the, it, you'll see a little bit of the, of, of the pixelation there. But still, you, you'll be able to see the target. You, you'll be able to identify the target and you'll be able to take the shot. Now, the reason I went with a two and a half by 25, <clears throat> because the, so in the 640 model, you have a one by mm -hmm. 10, you have a one and a half by 15, the two and a half by 25 and the four by 40. And, uh, right. in the, in the, and the reason I went with the two and a half by 25 is I want a little bit more field of view because I'm going to be using right. this to scan for coyotes. I'm going to be scanning with it. I don't have a separate uh, thermal uh, binoculars, which would be nice, but you know, budget wise, <laughs> you can only get so much at one time. I, you know, when you when you're selling calves at the price I did this year, so uh, so I went with the two and a half by twenty five to have a little bit more field of view, so I can scan a little bit and uh, and and have that option, I guess. But they were they were sure trying to talk me into the four by forty. Uh, uh, Matt was sure he, he thought I needed that one because he realized I was in the Dakota territory and we take uh, shots a little bit longer up this way. And absolutely. And, uh, and Matt's uh, right in the money there. So if, if you are used to taking those longer shots, you know, having a higher base mag would, uh, you know, serve you well, but since you're going to be using it as a dual purpose uh, scanner and uh, scope in essence, that field of view is going to help you because you're going to see a wider area and as you're scanning, those targets will be able to show up a lot faster because of the wide field of view. 
Excellent. Steve, hold on the phone here with me a little bit longer. We're up against our first break here. So stand by here. We'll be uh, coming back at you. Questions, comments, concerns, 888-932-5682. You can text them to me at 701-425-6651, or you can uh, send them to me via my live stream on YouTube right now as well. You're listening to Dakota Prairie Outdoors all across the Dakota Territory from Pierre, Mobridge, Bismarck, Minot, Dickinson, and around the world on my live stream, Dakota Prairie Outdoors doors radio on youtube we'll be back with more talking atn thermal imaging digital night vision with steve right after these messages Join Pfeiffer's Auctioneers for the annual Upper Midwest Equipment Auction. This online auction begins to close on December 8th at Pfeiffer's.com and features livestock and hay equipment, semi-trucks and trailers, exceptional construction equipment with low-hour payloaders, skid steers, excavators, and more. And this premier Pfeiffer's Auction showcases an uncomparable offering of like-new case, Kubota, and versatile tractors from 150 to 550 horsepower, some with less than 100 hours. Full inventory details and online bidding is available at Pfeiffer's.com. Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Trust Advisors. Use your wealth to support your family and those you care about. We know you have worked hard over the years to accumulate wealth. We want to make sure your legacy reaches your heirs as you intend, either by will, by trust, or by beneficiary designation. We emphasize flexibility to meet your goals and discipline to achieve them. Visit dakotacommunitybank.com. At Dakota Community Bank and Trust, that's what we do. Our outdoor heritage is important to North Dakotans, and the state's oil and natural gas industry is advancing the possibilities for conservation. The North Dakota Outdoor Heritage Fund receives up to $40 million per biennium from oil and natural gas taxes. The industry is reclaiming land for future generations, and it's developing our state's natural resources in harmony with our great outdoors and wildlife. North Dakota Oil and Natural Gas, advancing the possibilities. Brought to you by the North Dakota Petroleum Foundation. MoPro Guide Service, the best on Lake Oahe. Brent and his staff will give you the most enjoyable fishing experience, always having the latest in electronics, gear, and the most comfortable Lund boat on the water. Fish with somebody who lives in Mobridge, South Dakota, the heart of Lake Oahe. If you need a place to stay, the Morest Motel has newly updated rooms with free internet, a family-owned and operated business. Go to oahewalleyes.com. That's O-A-H-E, walleyes.com, for the best fishing experience Lake Oahe has to offer. Rockin' 7W has all the panels you need. Freestanding panels, windbreak panels, feeder panels, and the original protester panel. If you don't know what that is, it's a sort panel that makes sorting calves from a cow a breeze. You can do it in a fraction of time with just one person on foot or horseback. You can custom order sizes to fit your current operation, or you can start from scratch. Rockin' 7W also does trailer repair on any size trailers, mobile welding, and custom cattle hauling. Call Justin at Rockin' 7W at 701-206-1030. That's 701-206-1030. Rockin' 7W, the farmer and rancher's go-to guy. Western Frontier Insurance. Agents that understand you, your needs, and the community. Whether you're looking for coverage on your farm, ranch, home, or auto, you can trust that Western Frontier Insurance will find you a combination of price and coverage that works for you. No fancy jingles, no talking boxes or animals, just good neighbors helping to keep you covered. Western Frontier Insurance. Offices in Hazen, Washburn, and Wilton. Join Pfeiffer's Auctioneers for the annual Upper Midwest Equipment Auction. This online auction begins to close on December 8th at Pfeiffer's.com and features livestock and hay equipment, semi-trucks and trailers, exceptional construction equipment with low-hour payloaders, skid steers, excavators, and more. And this premier Pfeiffer's Auction showcases an uncomparable offering of like-new case, Kubota, and versatile tractors from 150 to 550 horsepower, some with less than 100 hours. Full inventory details and online bidding is available at Pfeiffer's.com. Our outdoor heritage is important to North Dakotans, and the state's oil and natural gas industry is advancing the possibilities for conservation. The North Dakota Outdoor Heritage Fund receives up to $40 million per biennium from oil and natural gas taxes. The industry is reclaiming land for future generations, and it's developing our state's natural resources in harmony with our great outdoors and wildlife. North Dakota Oil and Natural Gas, advancing the possibilities. Brought to you by the North Dakota Petroleum Foundation. Dakota Community Bank and Trust provides ag loans for all stages of growth, from seed to harvest. 
Our expert agribusiness lending staff specializes in loans for livestock, equipment, vehicles, and operating. With our roots in agribusiness lending, you can be assured that our lending staff will provide you with prompt and reliable service. In other words, our ag loan officers will always keep your best interests in mind. Stop by your local Dakota Community Bank and Trust today. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Welcome back, everybody. It's Dakota Prairie Outdoors Saturday edition. You're listening on KGFX in Pier and Fort Pierce, South Dakota. I bet they're pretty proud of some of their NFR guys down that way, too. K O L Y, Mobridge. Uh, KFYR is having their open heart uh, campaign going on today. But KCJB and Minot and KLTC Dickinson and across and around the world on my YouTube channel. Dakota Prairie Outdoors Radio. A couple questions coming in here. Steve Lemonov from ATN is with me, and most people know you guys because uh, as long as you say ATN and thermal imaging, doesn't your smartphone automatically going to pull up one of your guys' commercials there, Steve? I think that's how it works anymore, doesn't it? Oh, that's how I make them at work. <laughs> <laughs> so a question uh, while we were on a break, question comes in from the same guy that's looking. At, I don't know if he's looking at buying one or not. He says, uh, uh, very nice uh, from the one that I bought. He said, I'm told to spend the money right away and get quality. And uh, what do you say to that? I, I agree with that. I agree hundred percent, you know, buy once, cry once, you know, uh, quality matters. Uh, you're spending that kind of money. You know, I think we need the industry in terms of quality and uh, customer service and uh, feature-rich products. You know, we need in terms of battery life. Uh, I believe the Thor 4 has about a 16-plus battery hours. life. Yeah. yeah continuous use so you could hunt all day and pretty much all night long on a single battery charge, which is uh, industry leading. Now, does temperature going to have a little bit to do with that too, I would suspect? It does. It does. Uh, you know, uh, the, uh, in really cold temperatures, the battery life will be reduced somewhat, yeah. but because we use uh, high quality internal lithium ion batteries, uh, you could still use the product in cold temperatures. Yeah. Well, let's go to the phone line, 888-932-5682. That's 888-932-5682 if you have any questions, comments, concerns. And uh, let's go to Jesse here. He's been uh, sitting on hold, waiting a little bit. Morning, Jesse. How are you doing today? Good morning, guys. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, good morning, Jesse. I've got the same. Good morning. I've got the 640, uh, two and a half to 25. And I guess I have the same theory that, that Scott had that I'm going to use it to scan large areas. I do have mm -hmm. another hunting partner that has the higher, uh, what must be a four to 40 or whatever the higher one is. Yep. Yes, sir. He, and yes, he sir. is, he is able. I mean, when we start having coyotes come in that, at thousand yards and we watch him come in on his scope it is a lot clearer at those way further distances you can make things out a little bit better i can still see the heat signature and tell that something's coming in and just by the way they move you know at the coyote but right it it just depends depends on what, which distance you think you're going to be shooting at or what you're going to be doing Absolutely right. You know, so because uh, you have uh, the native 2.5 optical and he has the four optical, so basically he has almost double the native optical resolution, he's able to see, you know, quite a bit further out without the loss of image quality because of the bigger yep. lens. He's got a 75 millimeter germanium lens versus your, your 50. And it does, you know, you have a bigger field of view, you could see a wider area, but he can see clear a little bit further because of that bigger lens. And I also have the opportunity to look through the next model down that the, what is it, the 340? And it has that smaller, must be like a 25 lens. Yeah, the, um, three, yeah, the 384 model is what you're looking at. Or 384, yeah. yeah. Well, that's a different sensor. So the 384 by 288 yep. sensor is basically four times less resolution than the 640 by 480. So uh, honestly, it was noticeably say, different. Yes, of course, because the 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 sensor of how many how many pixels are in the sensor is significantly less versus the two sensors. 
Yep. If everything's going to be really, really, really close in, you can. I'd say you could get by with one with that smaller scope. But I would highly recommend mm-hmm. going to the going to the six forty to anybody. And just if anybody that's listening, I know K Fire. We're not on K Fire today, but I am going to be in Kildare today at a gun auction, and I have my Thor with me. If anybody comes to the gun auction, Kildare, find me. I'll be the one yelling out the bids. Uh, if they want to check the scope out, I have it with me. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I'll keep listening. All right. Thanks a lot for the call. Appreciate it. 888-932-5682. Again, that's 888-932-5682 or 888-9-DAKOTA. You can also text them questions, comments to me here at 701 425 six six five one and uh you know when you're talking about uh, spending the money here steve and getting the right one right away and uh, jesse did bring up a point i didn't think about that some areas uh, are uh, very heavily wooded areas and you're probably not going to be reaching out to that you know uh, three to six seven eight hundred yards uh thinking about shooting a coyote you're going to be doing that in close so i mean that's why you guys offer many different models here because everybody has different areas that they're probably hunting in. Oh, well, uh, you know, people have different needs, right? Environments are different. Uh, how much land you have, uh, you know, varies. So we offer a very wide selection of products to meet, you know, customers' needs. And we're all, all about the customer. You know, we listen to our customers and we bring out to market great products to meet the customer needs. So how could you explain a little bit how thermal imaging actually works you know i mean what can it somebody when they put this scope on their rifle and they put their eye up to it and turn it on what can they expect to see okay well uh it's a very good question uh well thermal imaging is is, is a digital technology you have a is um, a thermal sensor uh we have uh, various sensor uh in uh, resolutions wise like 640 by 480 which is the top line that we offer uh, which is actually the top line that is commercially available uh, currently. Uh, then there's a 384 by 288. We also have a brand new sensor that we uh, adopted uh, last year, uh, or actually this year at the uh, 2020 SHOT Show. I'm very unfortunate that uh, the next, uh, upcoming SHOT Show has been canceled, actually. I was really looking forward to it. Uh, we have the 320 by 240 12 micron sensor, and we have a 160 by 120 sensor. And so the sensor is a, you know, is a core part of that, technology then you have the germanium lens germanium is a rare earth uh mineral um it's only found in several places on earth and it's very expensive so it's it's a very important part of any thermal weapon site right the germanium allows the thermal magnetic radiation to be absorbed uh, and go to the thermal sensor which translates that information through algorithms and computations and um, sends a signal to a very high end, very small uh, micro, uh, micro um, like LCD or OLED screen at which you look at an IEP. So basically you're looking at a television screen of sorts, like a very high end. We use uh, HD quality L- uh, micro LCD screens that reproduces the image that the thermal sensor uh, gathers from the thermomagnetic radiation, which is a, a, a you know a scientific way of saying uh, heat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the heat energy that uh, everything everything that's alive uh, emits, the thermal sensor picks up and trans uh, translates that information onto a digital screen. And that's what you're going to see, basically. And, you know, in our products, we offer various palettes, about, I believe, about eight different color palettes, white, hot, black, hot, rainbow, predator mode, whatnot. Uh, everybody loves the predator movie. So, you know, <laughs> we, we have that in there. You could be the predator. Well, it's one of our models, you know, be the predator. But um, you see that representation that the thermal uh, sensor sees and translates it, it translates it to uh, something that the human eye can recognize and, you know, and translate. Like you could see trees, you could see the terrain, you could see your target, like hogs, coyotes, other game, and they'll stand out no matter what time of day it is. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, a blacked out cave or a, um, you know, a forest, plain, mountain, uh, everything emits thermomagnetic radiation, which is essentially heat, and the scope translates that, and you're able to see that image. I tell you because what, thermal is passive. It's, it doesn't need any kind of 
natural light, ambient light, like night vision. Night vision requires some sort of ambient light, like moonlight, starlight, infrared light, like artificial light that uh, IR illuminators emit that night vision is able to see and pick up and to translate that image, you know, so the human eye can recognize it and see exactly something. Yeah. Well, Steve, we're up against our half hour break. Stay with me here. So we're going to come back on the second half of the programming and talk about, uh, uh see if, if COVID has uh, been affecting them in the, uh, hunting world and the scope world as much as it has uh, some other places. We'll be back with more of Dakota Prairie Outdoors, the second half coming up here shortly, all across and around the, the world. We'll be back right after these messages next. Join Pfeiffer's Auctioneers for the annual Upper Midwest Equipment Auction. This online auction begins to close on December 8th at Pfeiffer's.com and features livestock and hay equipment, semi-trucks and trailers, exceptional construction equipment with low-hour payloaders, skid steers, excavators, and more. And this premier Pfeiffer's Auction showcases an uncomparable offering of like-new case, Kubota and versatile tractors from 150 to 550 horsepower, some with less than 100 hours. Full inventory details and online bidding is available at Pfeiffer's.com. Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Trust Advisors. Use your wealth to support your family and those you care about. We know you have worked hard over the years to accumulate wealth. We want to make sure your legacy reaches your heirs as you intend, either by will, by trust, or by beneficiary designation. We emphasize flexibility to meet your goals and discipline to achieve them. Visit dakotacommunitybank.com. At Dakota Community Bank and Trust, that's what we do. Our outdoor heritage is important to North Dakotans, and the state's oil and natural gas industry is advancing the possibilities for conservation. The North Dakota Outdoor Heritage Fund receives up to $40 million per biennium from oil and natural gas taxes. The industry is reclaiming land for future generations, and it's developing our state's natural resources in harmony with our great outdoors and wildlife. North Dakota Oil and Natural Gas, advancing the possibilities. Brought to you by the North Dakota Petroleum Foundation. MoPro Guide Service, the best on Lake Oahe. Brent and his staff will give you the most enjoyable fishing experience, always having the latest in electronics, gear, and the most comfortable Lund boat on the water. Fish with somebody who lives in Mobridge, South Dakota, the heart of Lake Oahe. If you need a place to stay, the Morest Motel has newly updated rooms with free internet, a family-owned and operated business. Go to oahewalleyes.com. That's O-A-H-E walleyes.com for the best fishing experience Lake Oahe has to offer. Rockin' 7W has all the panels you need. Freestanding panels, windbreak panels, feeder panels, and the original protester panel. If you don't know what that is, it's a sort panel that makes sorting calves from a cow a breeze. You can do it in a fraction of time with just one person on foot or horseback. You can custom order sizes to fit your current operation, or you can start from scratch. Rockin' 7W also does trailer repair on any size trailers, mobile welding, and custom cattle hauling. Call Justin at Rockin' 7W at 701-206-1030. That's 701-206-1030. Rockin' 7W, the farmer and rancher's go-to guy. Western Frontier Insurance agents that understand you, your needs, and the community. Whether you're looking for coverage on your farm, ranch, home, or auto, you can trust that Western Frontier Insurance will find you a combination of price and coverage that works for you. No fancy jingles, no talking boxes or animals, just good neighbors helping to keep you covered. Western Frontier Insurance. Offices in Hazen, Washburn, and Wilded. Join Pfeiffer's Auctioneers for the annual Upper Midwest Equipment Auction. This online auction begins to close on December 8th at Pfeiffer's.com and features livestock and hay equipment, semi-trucks and trailers, exceptional construction equipment with low-hour payloaders, skid steers, excavators, and more. And this premier Pfeiffer's Auction showcases an uncomparable offering of like-new case, Kubota and versatile tractors from 150 to 550 horsepower, some with less than 100 hours. Full inventory details and online bidding is available at Pfeiffer's.com. Our outdoor heritage is important to North Dakotans, and the state's oil and natural gas industry is advancing the possibilities for conservation. The North Dakota Outdoor Heritage Fund receives up to $40 million per biennium from oil and natural gas taxes. The industry is reclaiming land for future generations, and it's developing our state's natural resources in harmony with our great outdoors and wildlife. North Dakota Oil and Natural Gas, advancing the possibilities. Brought to you by the North Dakota Petroleum Foundation. 
Dakota Community Bank and Trust provides egg loans for all stages of growth, from seed to harvest. Our expert agribusiness lending staff specializes in loans for livestock, equipment, vehicles, and operating. With our roots in agribusiness lending, you can be assured that our lending staff will provide you with prompt and reliable service. In other words, our egg loan officers will always keep your best interests in mind. Stop by your local Dakota Community Bank and Trust today. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Welcome back, everybody. Good to have you along. Dakota Prairie Outdoors, Saturday edition. You can catch my daily program at all these radio stations, plus 22 other stations. You can go to dakotaprairieoutdoors.com. All the daily shows are uploaded. If you want to watch a replay of the Saturday show, you can always find me and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dakota Prairie Outdoors Radio. Steve Lemonov, he is Director of Marketing for ATN. We're talking thermal imaging scopes and uh, night vision and everything else that they do there today. And uh, we're kind of focusing on thermal, Steve, because it seems to be that, you know, that's what people are going after right now, isn't it? And uh, it seems like that's the hot commodity. It is a hot commodity. And, you know, with this COVID pandemic, you know, and everybody running on guns and ammo, you know, we've kind of benefited also uh, with, uh, because we're a firearms accessory of sorts. Yeah. Um, you know, we've had great demand and um, a lot of sellers. So we're, you know, we're benefiting from this. Yeah, unfortunate times, but uh, you know it's 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 a great it's a great product. Uh, there's definitely a need for it, for you know areas such as yourselves in uh, North Dakota and uh, you know and the northern states or coyote problems, and you have cattle and they need to protect uh, protect them from uh, predators. So it's 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 important. Has COVID seen? Uh, have you had any trouble with this pandemic of getting resources to build these scopes? Uh, at first, yes. Uh, but okay. then we went in, dam you know, kind of damage control mode, uh, increased uh, our uh, orders with our vendors for parts, uh, you know, because we, you know, it's, it's so, uh, it's so dynamic right now, right? You know, things are being locked down one month, opened up another month, you know, things are not coming in. So uh, the logistical nightmare we had to go, uh, you know, through in early March and April, you know, we were able to solve those problems. And because we were kind of looking forward uh, into the future a little bit, and we kind of guessed right, we increased our capacity to meet the demand. And, you know, we are able to produce to that demand because of those plans that we did early on in the year. It seems uh, some companies, you know, I don't know what it's like uh, in your area right now, but uh, if you walk in and try to find ammunition right now in any of the stores that we usually shop at, it's pretty thin. Uh, I think guns, impossible. gun sales have gone up to, over the last year like crazy and there's no ammunition anywhere. I talk to a lot of people all across the country, you know, talk to various distributors and, um, you know, gun shops and it's just, it's impossible. Primers are impossible to get. Uh, every, you know, most of the, I think not most, all of the ammo manufacturers are back ordered to like next summer. <laughs> yeah. So it's either ammunition and toilet paper. Those are the hard things to find. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the important things, right? <laughs> yeah, that's probably true too. <laughs> Say what, what, if you're going to put one of these uh, thermal imaging scopes on a rifle, what's is there a size caliber wise that might be too much of a recoil for these scopes or is that not even an issue at all? Um, for hunting purposes, it's not an issue. Okay. Uh, our scopes are rated to 375 H and H uh, and okay. 470 Barrett. So, you know, 50 BMG, uh, no, uh, that's a bit, uh, too much kick. Uh, 12 gauge shotgun no 20 gauge is okay, okay. uh but anything 308 300 blackout to 70 uh 300 uh wind mag seven millimeter no problem okay if you needed a thermal imaging scope on a 50 bmg i would be curious on what you'd be hunting yeah, me too <laughs> probably elephants <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Do you guys uh, have any military contracts? Are these being used by the military? Or is that just a, a separate uh, thing? Uh, we, you know, we work with uh, our armed forces. We work with federal law enforcement. Uh, you know, we work with every branch. Uh, you know, we work with, with uh, m- private military contractors like ADS, uh, Bancorp. You know, various entities. So, yeah, we support our uh, servicemen uh, and women uh, as a hundred percent as much as possible. And you know, we are, pr- are proud to support them. And, uh, you know, we offer them the best technology that uh, we can produce. You know, when you talk about thermal imaging, you and I were talking during the break, uh, alternate uses, you know, and I I see your thermal imaging binoculars, even the scopes for that matter. You can use these for more. I I know there's a fire department that has some thermal imaging set up where they can, uh, you know, check for hot spots in a house or even, like you said, too, search and rescue. Uh, Do you see more and more of the... uh, uh, fire departments, uh, law enforcement, EMTs, uh, starting to invest more in the thermal imaging. Well, absolutely. You know, thermal offers such a wide variety of applications. Um, and that's why I think a lot of, uh, you know, entities are gravitating toward using thermal because of what it offers. You know, you could use thermal for uh, thermal auditing, you know, house auditing for heat leakage, as you mentioned, you know, uh, search and rescue if somebody's lost in the woods. It's a lot more efficient to search for a person that's lost yeah. uh, with thermal because you could cover such a bigger and wider area. Uh, uh, you know, you could see through white foliage, through, you know, brush. Uh, you, you could pick up that you know, missing person. Uh, you can, um, as you mentioned, uh, scout. Uh, you know, see where game is. Um, there, there's a whole host of applications for thermal. You know, thermal is also used in industrial uses for uh, seeing if machine gear parts are overheating uh, in oil and gas exploration, you know, for safety as well. You know, thermal has a lot of applications. Yeah, talk about oil and gas exploration. Uh, that's the Dakota Territory, man. We have uh, pretty good oil reserves up here right now. So uh, it's been... Uh probably used quite a bit in the oil patch that way. One thing I was just thinking of looking at your website right now, I see uh, the uh, thermal imaging binoculars, a game recovery. You know, you see a lot of the Mm -hmm. uh, people might get a little bit later in the the evening when they're archery hunting and they uh, sometimes can't find that game. They can't pick it up because they lost the blood trail. This would make it a heck of a lot easier being able to (laughs) pull out your thermal imaging and maybe finding it uh, in a brush or yeah, maybe absolutely you'll be like the, you'd be like the predator you know you follow the blood trail it'll yeah. be so much easier to see it because the heat from the blood will still kind of be in you know still fresh um and yeah game recovery will be a lot easier for sure unbelievable so uh, when a person looks at spending the money to do this uh how, what's the easiest you know the, they're looking at maybe the the uh, 384s compared to the 640s how do you talk them into saying, well, why don't you spend the extra two grand and get this one? Well, not, not everybody has deep pockets no. and we want to help the customer, you know, get into thermal, uh, you know, 384 by 288, don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, it's not as great as 640 resolution, but it's, it's, still it's better than nothing, right? Yeah, exactly. It's still very good. You're still getting great performance. You're still getting good clarity and visibility. Yes, the range is not as great as 640, but the capabilities are still there. You know, you still can see out, you know, 500, 600 yards out, maybe even more, depending on the wind size configuration of the product, you know, and uh, 384 and even the 160 by 120, you know, uh, we have a great line of uh, economical thermal scopes, the Thor LTs. And, you know, if you're hunting and um, you don't have a lot of area, you know, if you're hunting in like maybe a more wooded area, uh, and you, you know, your range doesn't, ex- you're not going to take shots more than, let's say, 200 yards or so. That's a great option as well. Uh, if you can't afford to spend, uh, you know, $2,000 or $3,500, you know, we have uh, thermal scopes for about $1,200. Mm-hmm. And, and, and one thing I just noticed too, the clip on. Uh, for uh, yeah. if you already have a scope and you'd love that scope, you actually have ones that you can put on the end of your scope. Uh, talk to us a little bit about those. Well, the the Tyco, uh, we haven't uh, started shipping it yet, but okay. we will be very shortly. But yes, thank you for mentioning that. It's a, it's a great product that we're going to be uh, releasing very shortly. 
if you love your day scope, you love your glass, it's zeroed in, you're comfortable with it, you know, you have it perfectly, you know, set on your platform, you know, a cheek weld and you're set and you don't want to mess up mess around with it don't have to take off a scope and zero it you know and think about all that this is a great option because it just slips onto the front bell of your day scope and it converts it into thermal and you could use that platform day or night now so i looking at these and you have many different options here uh do you know roughly what the pricing might be on those uh if off the top of my head i believe it's up so, 2000 I, okay. uh, I think around like eighteen or $1,900 entry. Okay, okay. Because I know there's no prices on your website just yet because it's kind of a new thing that you guys just came out with. Yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, like you said, some people love their scope so much they don't want to take it off that rifle, and here's a great option to make it into a, a thermal imaging scope right here. Absolutely. You bet. What other kind of uh, – uh, what else do you offer, I guess, here at ATM? <laughs> Well, we offer a full line of digital night vision. We have our binoculars, uh, which you could use day and night, and they have a built-in laser range finder, and you have the video recording capability as well. You know, a, a, a great feature we have in a lot of our smart HD products, uh, both night vision and thermal, is Wi-Fi. And if you have kids and you have trouble getting them out of the house, you know, they love the Xbox and um, they don't want to go out hunting, it's a great way to get them out because you can live stream what a person that sees uh, in the scope of the binoculars onto a smartphone or tablet, and they could see exactly what you're seeing through that product. Or if you know, say you're, tr you're teaching a young hunter to shoot, take up ethical kill, you can watch uh, oh, yeah. uh, on a smartphone or tablet and see exactly what they're looking at through the scope and guide them to take that ethical kill. So there's a lot of things we offer feature-wise in our products. We have, you know, thermal monoculars, the Otis LTs. We have uh, various scopes. We have the new X8 LTV day-night scope. We have the X8 4K Pro digital day-night scope with a lot of features that are similar to uh, the Thor 4s. Uh, we have a full range of thermal binoculars. Um, we have uh, traditional night vision, like uh, the military and law enforcement uses, like PBS 14s, PBS 7s. So we have a full range of products to meet every need that, that's out there, um, day or night. Uh, when it comes to customer service, it seemed like when I called in, I had no problems. I had a, a call back immediately. Is this uh, something you guys pride yourself on? And is is it necessary? I mean, or are these scopes pretty well, uh, are they foolproof even for somebody like myself to be able to hook up and be able to get through here in no time at all? Well, we do pride. Uh, we, thank you for that. You know, we do pride ourselves on customer service. We've, we've expanded our customer service tremendously, uh, by sheer demand because, you know, there's so much volume that we do, you know, our customers, you know, have questions, you know, they want to know what's best for them, you know, what for their application. So we get a lot of customers calling in, asking intelligent, smart questions about the products, how to use them, the applications for them. Some people have a little bit of trouble with our products because they are a little bit more on the tech side. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to use them. You know, if you use a, if you use a computer or smartphone, it's a natural transition. You know, our products are very seamless, we have a beautiful uh, graphical user interface with menus. Everything is very intuitive and natural that, uh, you know, an average person can pick up and, you know, figure out, you know, pretty quickly. And we, we offer, you know, great instructional videos yeah. on our channel on YouTube that walk you through all the steps, basically, from basic setup to all the way to using advanced features like the ballistic calculator, like we we're talking about in the break, you know, our scopes have uh, an advanced ballistic calculator. So if you set it up and use uh, one of our either handheld laser range finders or a laser range finder that attaches directly to the scope, uh, you range the target. And if you have the ballistic profile set up correctly, it'll instantaneously change your POI and you don't have to have any holdover. You just put the crosshair on the target and you could uh, send it, basically. Squeeze it off. I have a text message uh, came in. It says, uh, you guys were talking about thermal monoculars. Uh, what are you looking at, you know, uh, if you're going out and you're scouting and instead of using my scope to do all the field of view and, and go through the entire prairie downtown to see if a coyote's coming in, these monoculars might be pretty handy to do that same thing and a little quicker. 
Absolutely. They're lighter because you don't have to bring up your rifle to, you know, to your eye and, you know, which is also not as safe as using a handheld monocular or binocular. It's uh, more efficient because, uh, you know, you can quickly scan the scene with a monocular, uh, put it down, bring up your rifle and, you know, and uh, <laughs> take the shot. But yeah, uh, monoculars, binoculars are great for scouting, surveillance, uh, search and rescue, a lot of applications. Yeah. What are you looking at price, uh, price range when it comes to monoculars? Um, the Otis LT, uh, I believe the lower, um, the entry level model starts at about $1,000 mm -hmm. and it goes up. Uh, our, our night vision uh, binoculars are, um, Right now we have a special on our website. It's eight hundred and ten dollars with a eighty nine dollar discount. But you know they're full featured. You have day night capability. You have that laser range finder. You have onboard video recording. Just you know insert a micro SD card. You know up to sixty four gigabytes, and you could record hours of video of your hunts. Um, you know that's 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 the new thing, right? Uh, you know everybody wants to keep their memories um, and. Uh, keep bring home those uh, hunting adventures and their victories. You know, we offer in our product line, uh, I think we were the one of the very first ones to offer that uh, onboard recording capability where, you know, you go out and you, you get that coyote or a hog and, you know, nobody believes you got them or something. You can show them, <laughs> here you go. Proof, proof, proofs in the video. I got proof right here. Uh, I, I tell you what, if people want more information, how do they find uh, the right person to call? I mean, I, I'm guessing you have a lot of folks working from home and uh, setting it up that way. And uh, how, what's the easiest way? Just uh, call our, uh, one of our uh, 800 numbers or one of our direct numbers. You know, we have uh, customer service agents in both Florida and California on both coasts. And we offer, uh, I think... I, don't know, I think it's like 18 hours of operational time during the week, you know, from early a.m. East Coast time to close to midnight uh, California time. You know, you could actually see our operating hours on our website. Uh, we <laughs> I'm kind of blushing now because I, I, I don't really uh, recall because we've, we've, we've expanded our customer service so much yeah. in the last six months and offering so much more availability for customers to reach us. So Monday through Friday, you could reach us from 7 a.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern and Saturday and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern. So we've, uh, you know, we've definitely, you know, expanded our service time. Yeah, it, it, it's one of those things where uh, it's good that people continue to be busy even during this COVID thing here, Steve, I uh, we're out of time for today. I appreciate you taking a little bit of your time on a Saturday morning and uh, coming on my radio program across the Dakota territory. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate it. You bet. Stay with me. I got a few uh, tournaments. I'm going to update people as we uh, get closer to the end of the show here. There's a lot of coyote tournaments, and I'm going to try to get through as many as I can before I got to leave you for another Saturday. Uh, going on this weekend, today, the 6th Annual Shields Bar, or my old stomping grounds having a coyote tournament. Also, uh, I believe going on here today is the 3rd Annual uh, Todd Antonson Memorial Club Coyote Calling Contest. Good luck to you guys out there right now today. Uh, hopefully the day treats you well. The fourth annual Dunn County Christmas for Kids Coyote Hunt is coming up December 11th and 12th. That's been moved to the rodeo grounds just west of Kildare. The sixth annual Cheyenne River Predator Hunters Classic Coyote Calling Contest is December 11th and 12th. It's going to be moved to the Curly Hall northwest of Fort Pier this year because of the covid uh, rules and regulations. The Randy Rohde 4th Annual Memorial Statewide Coyote Calling Contest is going to be Saturday, December 19th. And, uh, of course, that again, statewide. Uh, that's going to be Gray Goose Store out of Pierce, South Dakota, is where the meeting is going to be held on that one. The Youth Coyote Hunt, a free youth coyote hunt, Long Valley, South Dakota, on the west side of Highway 73, December 26th and 27th. You got to get those youth and get those kids involved. A great way to do it. The Drake Fire Department is having their coyote and pheasant hunt January 2nd. So, uh, yeah, they're going to have prizes for big dog, little dog, and the biggest pheasant that you can bring in as well. The Wild Walleye Third Annual Ice Fever Tournament is coming up on January 2nd. Uh, the ninth Annual 
Garrett Houghton Benefit Coyote Hunt and Chili Cookoff. He's going to be uh, coming your way here at Faraby Shop just outside of a uh, holiday area that way. So there you go. The 19th Annual North Dakota Coyote Classic, Dickinson, North Dakota. That's on January 9th. Uh, the 2E Fabrication Predator Hunt, January 8th and 9th out of Sanborn, North Dakota. The 2021 Northwood Men's Club Coyote Hunt and Raffle, January 15th and 16th. Uh, the Dakota Predator Hunters are having another one here. It's the Knights of Columbus Coyote Hunt. Rules meeting is going to be January 22nd at the Columbus Hall Association out by Gladstone, North Dakota. So there you go. There's plenty of other ones. Keep tuned. You can listen to my daily program. Thanks for listening today. Eat some meat, drink some milk. All right, stations, thank you. Have yourself a great day here. I'm going to talk to Steve here shortly. All right, Steve, thanks for hanging on, man. I appreciate it again. It's uh, I have a quick question. How do I do a factory reset?